Welcome back to Bloom. On this Veterans Day, there's one Tampa veteran who's making a difference in a lot of veterans' lives. Attorney Matt Hall is a former U.S. Army infantryman who found out the University of Florida had no scholarship for military veterans. So he started one to help other vets. Since creating the law school's first endowed scholarship, he has raised more than $60,000 helping military vets pay for school. Joining us now is veteran and attorney Matt Hall. Welcome to Bloom, Matt. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you. And why was it so important for you to give back to other vets here at home? Uh, well, when I got out of the Army, I, it, my transition was not as easy as, as some people's. Uh, I got out in 2003, shortly after I returned from Iraq, mm -hmm. and I'd gone back home, uh, and I didn't have a lot of support there. And so I had some veterans, some Vietnam veterans, who, who took me under their wing and helped me realize what I needed to do, which allowed me to get to law school and do the things that I'm now. So I just feel it's important to pay it back. Take us back to when you came home and, and what it is you were going through and why was that transition so tough for you? Uh, sure. 2003 was uh, kind of an interesting time in the Iraq war. It had just started. Uh, but I was 21 years old when I got home from Iraq mm. and I didn't have... Uh, I, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do. I, I went to college because I thought I had my GI Bill, but then they put me in with a bunch of you know, 17, 18, 19 year old uh, kids who mm -hmm. hadn't done anything. Uh, and so just trying to figure out a way to relate to people again and just uh, everything, the structure that I had to now just a completely different environment. When you look back, would you say you were dealing with PTSD? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely difficult. Uh, everybody has their own, you know, their issues they deal with. Right. Uh, but when you are, when your issues deal with a foreign concept like, like combat, it's just harder. If you have a, a car accident and you break a bone and you don't want to get behind the wheel, mm. people understand that because everybody knows a car accident. But if you've been in an environment that's, uh, you know, life-threatening, uh, and you know, and you never know when it, what's coming you come back and you try to explain it to that and, and people don't understand those words. Right, if you don't have your, your guys right. that you were over there with, you, right. you really can't just sit down at a bar and start talking about what you just went through with somebody who's, who's going to be able to relate with, to what you're talking about. Exactly. So how do you mentor other veterans? Uh, so one thing I've done, I've, I've become the commander of our VFW here in Tampa, uh, which is in Hyde Park, Post 4321, uh, but I also volunteer at several other organizations um, through the Veterans Treatment Court program. Uh, and, and you don't just need to be involved in these organizations that mentor people. Sometimes it's just being aware, seeing somebody on the side of the road or somebody at the airport that I see, and I could, you know, talk to them. It's depending on what they're wearing. Sometimes insignia, mm -hmm. and sometimes you can just go, you know, give a helping hand. You know, it's it's something to say thank you for your service, but it's something more to, you know, to actually reach out and and f give a physical act of guidance or kindness to somebody. Why did you decide to go into law? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> thought it would be a good career move. I, I, I still had some GI Bill money left, so I figured I'd go to school for a little bit more. Uh, no, I just thought I'd be have a, a bigger platform to be able to help people. And That's really, so great. Um, yeah, so it worked out. What are ways that people at home can help veterans, especially when we can't relate to what you've been through? Sure. There's a lot of support groups, um, you know, VFWs, American Legions, um, and certainly you know, these organizations that you can support in, in, you know, financially or just through time. Uh, but the other thing you can do is, you know, on Veterans Day, you mm. know, go to, go to a Veterans Day parade. Go to these places and, and do more than just a, a thank you and walk away. Right. But, you know, it's not a, it's not, not a handout, a helping hand, you know, is what veterans want, you know. Mm -hmm. And so if you see a veteran hire, and you're in a hiring position, hire a veteran if they're, if they're eligible for your work. So these are the types of things that you can do to really help those people who have made the ultimate sacrifice or have at least been willing to make the ultimate ultimate sacrifice for their country. How do you raise this money for these scholarships? Uh, I'm not a very good fundraiser, <laughs> uh, so I just cold call people and I send letters and I guilt people in uh, the Sounds best like I can. Sounds like you're really good at it. If you can make a cold call and, and still come out with the money, I think that's pretty good. So you have a formal organization to help uh, veterans? Uh, we, so I'm part of several different formal organizations. Okay. So the scholarship through the UF Law School is actually run by the law school. Mm -hmm. So the money donated goes straight to the straight to the University of Florida. That's great. So I don't have to handle any of the money or any of the taxes or anything like that. Um, I'm part of the VFW. Uh, I'm part of the Veterans Treatment Court program here in Hillsborough County. Uh, I'm also part of the Hillsborough County Bar Association's Military Veterans Affairs Committee. And so there's different uh, there's different ways that we can do. And we just started the Ybor City Chamber of Commerce uh, Military Affairs Committee to really help entrepreneurs and veteran entrepreneurs here locally. That's good. You're out there. 
You're making dif a difference in our community. The Hillsborough County Bar Association has a military and veterans affairs committee that provides veterans legal assistance. So visit hillsbar.com for more information on that. Matt, thank you again. Thank you. Great job. We'll be back with more Bloom right after this.